Hi, everyone. This is Dr. Julie Pickens, Program Director for Eagle Academy, and we're here to tell you a little bit about Eagle Academy. Hi, everyone. My name is Dr. Stephanie Devine. I am the Executive Director of Eagle Academy, and we're excited to share our program with you all. Let's start with talking about what Eagle Academy actually is. And we are what is called an inclusive post-secondary education program. You'll sometimes see it with the acronym IPSE. And what that means is we are a program designed to provide a college experience for students with intellectual and or de developmental disability. Uh, we serve students who are motivated to become pr um, productive community members. We, we want to have students in our program who are interested in getting a job and living as independently as possible. And through that, we focus on several areas. We focus on your academic enrichment, your social skill development, independent living skills, self-determination, so you're able to advocate for your wants and needs, and career development skills. This program is a non-degree seeking program uh, where we provide a certificate that is specific to Eagle Academy at the end of the program. And um, let me make sure, do we talk about it? It's a 48 credit hour program, so a two-year program currently, and we're working on um, expanding that to a four-year total program. But that's sort of the overall of what an inclusive post-secondary education program is. And there are actually a lot of them throughout the country. There's over 280 uh, inclusive post-secondary education programs across the United States. Uh, you can see a map here from Think College. It's the, it's the housing, it's the web housing space for all of the programs across the country. And those little numbers you see there on the states show you how many uh, IPSE programs are within each state. Uh, this one is a little bit out of date, I think, because West Virginia actually does have one program now. So in every state, we have an IPSE program at this point, which is awesome. Um, currently in Georgia, we have nine programs. And, um, but that's only nine to serve the 700 plus students who uh, graduate from Georgia high schools each year that would qualify. So we're excited to be part of the team that help, is helping to promote and expand these programs across the state. And as Dr. Devine said, there are nine programs in Georgia. We're very lucky to have these wonderful programs here. And we're very lucky to have a consortium that helps to support these programs here in Georgia. And there's a program that really fits anyone's needs within Georgia. It just depends on what you're looking for. So of course, we want you to come be an Eagle and be part of Eagle Academy with us. But there are opportunities throughout the state of Georgia. And we even have many students that go to an inclusive post-secondary program, like the program at East Georgia State College, and then come to Eagle Academy because Eagle Academy does focus on those last two years, the years three, four of a college program. So there's options that have housing, there's options that focus on specific major areas, um, but we're very lucky here in Georgia to have programs. But we want to mostly focus on Eagle Academy, and Eagle Academy stands for Equal Access to Gainful Learning and Employment Academy. As I mentioned, we are the last two years of a four-year program, and we're the only program of this design in the state of Georgia. As Dr. Devine said, we are hoping to add years one and two so we can be a full four-year program through the, that CTP, hopefully in the coming years. We are a non-degree seeking program, but our students can take classes for audit or for credit, depending on how they would like to engage in the class and what their plans are after they leave Eagle Academy. Some of our students do go on to technical schools and are able to transfer some of those skills there. Georgia Southern really makes sure that Eagle Academy students are full Georgia Southern students. So they have full access to all university activities and resources. They attend football games and work out at the rack. They live on campus and they really have a full experience while they're on campus because we do focus on that independent living piece as well as the career development piece. Internships play a huge part of our program, but so do students picking a focus area within the majors and the colleges at Georgia Southern to focus on. 
Once a student picks a focus area, we work with the professors and faculty within that department to really design a wonderful course of study for the students to make the most of their time at Eagle Academy. And when students leave Eagle Academy, they do leave with certificate of achievement in their focus area. And that is a wonderful opportunity for them to, you know, take that forward and, you know, take that knowledge that they learn. And while students are at Eagle Academy, since we are a certified comprehensive transition program, students are eligible to get access to Pell Grants to help fund their time at Georgia Southern and at Eagle Academy. And some other students also use organizations like the GBRA, Georgia Vocational Rehabilitation, to fund some of their time at Eagle Academy. And some smaller scholarship funds on the need space are eligible through Eagle Academy as well. A major part of our program is a focus on person-centered planning. And that means that we really put the individual student at the center of their program development. Uh, what's kind of unique about our program in particular is we have such a wide array of majors and different programs within Georgia Southern itself, we can really craft an individualized experience for students in Eagle Academy. So with that, we use the STAR, STAR person-centered planning program. You see a picture of it there. And we get together as a group um, with the student and their family and friends and whoever they want to invite. And we talk about um, goals in the next five years, the next 10 years, and then um, the student's strengths and interests. And we use that then to figure out what the short-term goals are in these uh, five areas we talked about earlier. So career development and employment, which is obviously a big goal for our program. We want to help students um, get access to competitive integrated employment by the time they're done with us, or at least have a, um, a greater preparation for that experience. Uh, we also focus on academic enrichment, whatever that looks like for our students to be lifelong learners. Campus and community engagement is another piece of the, the STAR, and that is looking at how do you wanna be involved in the campus how do you want to be involved in the community and be part, be a productive member of the society at large? The fourth piece is self-determination. So how do we help? What are your goals surrounding how you want to um, grow in your, in your self-advocacy, in your ability to set goals and work toward them and all of that? And then the last piece is working on independent living skills based on what are your goals for when you graduate from our program? And what skills do you need to develop to get to that goal? And with that in mind, um, you take a lot of classes at Georgia Southern. And in our program, as I mentioned earlier, it's a 48 credit hour program so across two years. So every semester you take 12 credits and at least half of those credits will be coursework that uh, are in typically typical Georgia Southern classes, um, open to all students who are part of the university. And then these will be chosen to help develop those career skills, as well as um, perhaps develop your skills in your future career area of interest. You will receive accommodations in those classes, depending on individual needs of students. And the program staff at Eagle Academy work with the instructors of the classes you're in to make sure that those classes are accessible to you. And as, as Dr. Pickens mentioned earlier, we will at that point, before you start a class, determine whether you're going to take it for credit or for audit, because we will look at that, how that class is approached differently based on that piece. And then a part of our, um, um, our program includes uh, internship experiences as well. Those are, are part of the uh, typical coursework. A lot of Georgia Southern students take internship courses to prepare them for their future careers. And that's the same for Eagle Academy. So um, a focus is, as you get farther along in your program, you will have more and more internship uh, course hours and experiences. And then alongside that, you have some Eagle Academy classes that are specifically designed to support your individual needs in the area of career readiness, independent living, 
overall life skills, and then financial literacy is also a big um, focus because we know we, in order to be independent, we really need to understand how money works. So that is um, a big area in our Eagle Academy coursework as well. So those classes are fantastic for our Eagle Academy students to take. And one way that we're able to support our students is through the peer supports. The peer supports are really kind of the heart of much of what we do at Eagle Academy working with the students because the peers are able to go in and provide some of those natural supports that wouldn't necessarily be able to be provided by you know, some of the other Eagle Academy staff. And the peer mentors really support the Eagle Academy students to have a full college experience. So they tackle both the academic side as well as the social side of college. So peer mentors might assist their mentees with you know, setting goals weekly and reviewing those goals and really serving as a mentor to the students, but they're a peer first. We really stress that they are a peer and then they are also mentors. They also may go into classes with students and a lot of times we try and find a student that's already within that major and within that class to function as a peer support, natural support in that class, you know, to helping to take notes, helping to study for exams afterwards, helping to make sure that the student is able to fully engage in the classes. We also have mentors that serve as, as social mentors that might be serving as, you know, a workout buddy or a workout um, accountability partner attending the same group fitness class every week, or they might be, go to football games with the students, or they might, um, you know, have lunch with the students once a week. They help the students really to embrace the social parts of college because, you know, a large part of college is what happens beyond the classroom. So they help them find clubs and organizations and attend activities and really help them engage on campus and out in the community. And then career development is also a huge part of what we do in Eagle Academy. Career development and prep is fantastic for our students and we proudly say that you know all of our graduates from last year at the beginning of this school year either had a job we're going to another post-secondary institution, a community college or a technical school, or we're doing both. And that's definitely a point of pride for our program and something that we hope to continue on into the future. But we provide some of that career development in the form of both the Eagle Academy classes that Dr. Devine explained, as well as the internships that we have in the program. The amount of hours that students spend in internships grow throughout the program with their last semester in the program having 20 to 30 hours in an internship in the community, really learning and perfecting those job skills to make sure that they have success when they leave Eagle Academy. And we're very lucky that we've been able to partner with many internship sites, both on Georgia Southern's campus and out in the community. We partnered with the local school district as well as the city of Statesboro to provide some internships for students. On campus, we have students that work and intern at the campus athletics and at the recreation center on campus, as well as the nature center on campus. So we're very lucky to have those partnerships because we really wanna set students up for success and having that career development is so critical. Another really amazing part of our program is that we do have residential experience for our students. On-campus housing is required for those students in Eagle Academy where it's their first year. We really can't even express enough the growth of independence our students have being able to live on campus that first year especially. And um, so we really promote that and encourage that. We've got a wonderful relationship with our housing department and they, they, uh, they do amazing things throughout to support our students, to support all students at Georgia Southern. And uh, the second year, we have an option for students that they might be able to choose from um, housing options off campus if that works for families and the student and the program at large. So uh, that will be assessed before the second year to determine how um, students wanna proceed, but the on-campus housing is an option for the second year as well. Uh, this is a picture of the current housing uh, um, 
option, Eagle, Eagle Village, where our students are actually housed near um, education students as part of a living learning community so they can all get to know each other really well and provide um, support within the hall overall. So the next step is the application process. And on this slide, and we'll include, um, we'll include this link. Well, if you get to see this video, you'll, you should most likely be on our website, but any place you see this video, we'll have a link to our, our application, our, our web, web page, and then the application link is there as well. So what do you need to do now? A lot of families ask that question. Well, the first thing you need to do, even if you're just, if you're just exploring this option, you're still in um, early high school or middle school, is to start looking at, especially um, the farther you get into high school, scheduling a meeting with vo Georgia Vocational Rehabilitation and um, working with them to get a case manager and a case opened up. And with that, you're going to develop um, a plan. And in that plan, you want to write in that you want to go to an IPSE program as, as your goal. And that will help put, um, that will help Voc Rehab provide supports for you within this, this program. Another thing to do now is to, if you don't have an ABLE account, to set one up and start putting money in it to save for college. I know a lot of families, maybe that this wasn't a plan you had initially. Maybe you thought you wouldn't be able to go to college, um, but you can. So please start saving for that experience. College is not free, unfortunately. Um, so Enable account is a great way for you to save money without endangering any of your social security funding, if that is a concern. Um, then the final piece to do now is start gathering paperwork to submit. And this, there's a list of the paperwork you're going to need for our application process, but it includes things like recent IEPs, recent psychological evaluations, um, things that demonstrate uh, your, your disability history, um, especially in school, the accommodations you've used. Um, so there's a lot of things to gather. You'll want to take a look at that and start working through that process. And then if you look to the right of the screen, you see that in December, we start looking at early admissions. So the sooner you get an application in, the sooner we can start um, taking a look at it, setting up interviews and talking with you. And then if you are part of that early admission process, we would hopefully be able to send you an acceptance letter in January. In February though, we have an application deadline. We want all materials in um, by the end of February so that we have time to set interviews up with you, get everything going and have you all set for the fall. Um, and those interviews will happen typically in March and then acceptance letters sent in April. And that's the process we really like to follow to make sure we have time to really prepare all of our students for the next year. So we really enjoy talking to you about Eagle Academy and what a fantastic program it is and whether it is the right option for you. We would love to hear more from you. Please reach out to us at eagleacademy at georgiasouthern.edu or give us a call at 912-478-8842 and check out our website and let us know what questions you have and how we might be able to support you. Thanks everybody.